What's up guys? Recently, you would have seen me posting a video about Yui the Fisherman from Linden got married. So I covered an African wedding, but I mentioned in that video, I did not get to show you all the kwe kwe, the night before the wedding, like how the Hindus have dik dhoti or matikur, the Africans have something called kwe kwe, all right? I am so privileged that they acted it here at the commemoration of the Forest Rebellion, the Forest Revolt. They acted the Kwe Kwe here and I was lucky to capture it, which I want to show you guys, all right? Enjoy. So we got a performance here. I'm going to play dance or song come back. Somebody go play dance line like top. Like a blind I tell you, I am messed up me that quick. We're here tonight. I am going to know. Mama. Come to my 
crack, 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 God bring that strong saloon. Come to my crack, crack, come to my crack, crack. Come to my crack, crack, God bring that strong saloon. Away then. Tell them to report up. We shut them to the window. This little boy up on my game for carrying the virgin data. Tell them, tell them, tell them to report up. This little boy up on my game for carrying the virgin data. Nation away, nation, nation away, nation away, nation. Good night, dear, good night, 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 good night,
Is that speed shit good? Hey, Jerry, 
and care. We highlight up. I wait in, I wait in here. It's really like a two house and two car, don't worry. <laughs> well done, well done. I always want to see a quick quick. Saw it here tonight. Wow. And don't forget the mommy single too. Wow, that was well done. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Only recently I cover a wedding in Linden, but I missed the Kwe Kwe. So here it is tonight. I get to see the Kwe Kwe. All right. All right, so we got another group here doing their things, man. Singing some folk song, you know. Yeah, the atmosphere here is amazing. A lot of folks here, man. Bamboo! 
Hey, the vibes continue here, boy. Continue to celebrate and to commemorate our culture. And the struggle our forefathers have been through to make us free today. Drums to seduce his adult after her days. 
African drum. I'm just so dumb. African drums, drums of the ancestor, playing sweet drums while they whine and seduce each other after a hard day's work. African drums. Ancestral drums, why they enslave me, working the ribs on their back. Bye, 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 go! Ah, African drums. Sweet, sweet drums. Ancestral drums! That was Ancestral drums written by Apoya. Now, I was walking around and I saw some nice food being distributed. That food was called metem. So I can tell you a little story about metem. Yes. Does everyone know what metem is? Come on. Definitely. Okay. Well, those of you who collected food from a certain boot, you are eating metem. Now, many years ago, when the slaves heard that freedom come, life can get better, my life can get better. What's up, what's up? They decided <laughs> hey, what's to what's celebrate. Please, the bitch man, thank you for watching the show, right? The food to celebrate their freedom. So they went and they get all the little bits of vegetables, ground provision, and everything they could have find. Buy the pot there, boy. The pot of food. Yeah. And they meet on the dam where they light a big fire and put the big pot to boil. Then everybody come and throw in the little thing. Who got the cassava? Who got the yam? Who got the edo? Who had the dashing? And they put it in the pot. And you know what was the main unifier to make the pot come together? It was coconut. Coconut. So they wow. made the coconut and put the coconut milk in. But the, the, the food, it, everything was coming nice and then they recognized that they need some meat. So somebody went and catch an iguana and nice. put the iguana in the pot with the rest of the things that make up this food. And then the pot began to boil. boil All right. Well, before the food finished, Bakra Jani, and that's the name they used to give to the, the planters, the colonizers. This one was called Bakra Jani. Bakra. Bakra Jani. Bakra. Yes. Uh, Bakra. So. Uh, get around, get, get around, get around. Bakra. Bakra Jani came among the ex slaves then, and he wanted to show them that, well, we are still friends. Don't mind you not working for me anymore. And he, you see, because once the slaves came off the plantation, he had nobody to work for him. So he thought that he could make friends with them. And one of the things that the Africans uh, brought with them, the camaraderie is often developed when you sit and eat with them. Notice the older people in Guyana, you go to their house, they always got food to offer you. I mean, these days there's an offer you rum and so, but back then they could offer you food. And so when Bakra Jani came, they invited him to take a bite of this wonderful food that they cook. So if he don't be the friend, he had to eat from the pot. And Jandi put his hand in the pot and he took out the guana. And he took a bite. Right away, the people around the pot said, 
I love Metem. I cook Metem. Now I know the Metem. history behind Metem. Now the funny thing about Metem is if you don't allow the fact to boil long enough in the coconut milk and you put too much coconut in the thing, mm -hmm. a strange thing has happened. <laughs> you end up going in the toilet. to the bathroom. <laughs> and I don't That's know true. what the song means. I know when they said back for Johnny Young Wana, but I always wonder when they pull a party yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So back for Johnny Young Wana, pull a party yeah, yeah, yeah. Back for Johnny Young Wana, pull a party yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them win, uh, let them win. This what man, I really enjoy here. Let them win this evening. <laughs> The writer of Fat Never, but she's shy for the camera for Region 3. They're big up to you, darling. Big up to all the folks in Region 3 and all 10 regions of Guyana. And big up to all the folks around the world. I really had an awesome evening here. I enjoy, I celebrate. I hope you guys learned something about this amazing culture. This rich and amazing culture. And those of you who don't know your history, please learn your history know your history okay know your roots what's gonna happen next you're gonna have more skits more dances more songs you know and people are gonna celebrate and enjoy themselves i've been out there since 3 p.m all right and it's now 7 15 so i've been here for like 4 hours and 15 minutes how can life get any better than this? Eh? Yeah. Or could yes. just ask me if I had fun? Yeah. Life had fun. couldn't get better. Really enjoy the celebration here today, man. You're late, man. You come late. No, You've been here before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, the coordinator. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. And you, you like watching the show? You want to say hello to anybody? Well, to all of my loved ones, those who are in good positions of observing this running streaming, enjoy. All right. What's your name? Mr. Gilbert, pleasure meeting you, man. All right, one love. Keep watching. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> it was a pleasure running into the gentleman, dear man. Life couldn't get better than this. Eh? Hope you guys enjoy the Kwe Kwe. Hope you learn something about this rich African culture. So long I wanted to cover a Kwe Kwe. I missed my Bai Yui Kwe Kwe. And thankfully, I'm so happy. And I want to thank all these guys here. All right, for tonight. It was amazing and I'm happy that I can bring the Kwekwe celebrations to you. However, I have to go to a real one when there's a wedding. Hopefully, I, I am invited to an African wedding. So once I get there, I want to show you the real deal. This is just an, an act, a play of what happens, you know, like a, um, it's like a reenactment of what goes on at a, a Kwekwe, like, you know. So I want to attend a real one to bring the real deal to you guys, all right? To show you how the bride hide and how they have to find her and stuff. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you learn something. Thank you. Stay positive. Stay blessed. See you on the next adventure.